We are here again with a different video, different laptop, and today's laptop is an Acer Aspire ES14. And the exact model is a ES1-420-35P6. This one is an AMD processor with a 2GB of the RAM and 500GB of the mechanical hard drive. So in this video, what I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade your RAM to a 4 gig RAM, how to add an extra RAM. On top here it says what kind of RAM is, is that DDR3. So we're gonna grab a DDR3 RAM and we're gonna add extra 2 gig inside. So first thing first, you wanna flip it over and we wanna remove all the screws that you see on the bottom cover, at the back, on the corners, in the mid, everywhere. I'm gonna use my iFixit tool set. Uh, we're gonna be using bit number Phillips zero. I believe yes. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all the screws. I'm just gonna fast forward this part. All right, once we removed all the screws, so double check, make sure there is no more screws left. You can go ahead and remove the caddy for the empty DVD roll. Just pull it out. If you have a DVD-ROM caddy you want to place in, you can just put it in. Otherwise, but just remember it's gonna look ugly in this side because you cannot remove the cover from here to place it on yours. Some models actually give you detachable cover, so you can remove it from here and plug it right on your DVD-ROM. But this one doesn't come with it, so if you put, it's just gonna look half empty. Anyways, next step is to open your laptop 45 degree angle, just like this. And what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool. I'm using a guitar pick. And you want to stick between the top and the bottom cover. And you just want to twist it. And you want to do front end, sides, and go all the way to the back. You want to hear those clicks. That's what you want to hear. All right. I'll reopen a little bit. And then just lift up a little bit. Let me get this one. Just open it up a little bit. Don't open too much. And because down here we got two ribbon cables. This one is the for the touchpad, and the other one is for the keyboard at the back, the black one. To remove this one, you gotta lift up this black hinge upward. So put your finger near there and just lift it up 90 degrees upward, and then the flex cable is just gonna slide out. For the keyboard, what you need to do, you need to pull this you know, white triggers toward the back end about a one millimeter or less both side once you pull up and just remove the keyboard now you can go ahead and lift up the top cover this is the keyboard cover now that we remove the top cover down here we have the motherboard unfortunately this brand for these models they don't want to make life easy they have the rams on the other side of the motherboard and it's not accessible from the underneath so it's a big hassle. Anyway, so we gotta continue. Now what we need to do, we need to remove the hard drive. To remove the hard drive, remove one screw, which is right there. And next, you wanna remove the right speaker, just by lifting it up. Just by pulling it up like that, and putting it to one side. And you wanna slide the hard drive backward, and then lift it up. Put it to one side. Next, you want to remove the speaker cables right here. Just pull this jack backward. Grab it from the little bit of the cable that they left you. If you don't have it, grab yourself a tweezers. Just put it on the sides. Just like that. And then wiggle it around until it just comes out. Just like that. Next, go ahead and remove the battery just by pulling this jack backward. Also remove the LCD cable, which is right here. Just hold it from corners here, and then pull it in the same direction backward. Don't pull it sideways. Pull it evenly. Remove the fan connector. Just pull it out. Remove this black tape. 
you might have to trash this because it's not gonna be sticky anymore and remove the Wi-Fi antenna just by pull them upward towards the ceiling remove the three screws for the fan so one there one there one at the back you may have the same color screws this one is a different color screw, screw so Once you remove the fan, the screws, remove the fan, just lift it up and go ahead and clean it if you need to. Now there is one more, one nice screw to remove, which is right here. Once you remove that one, now you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard from this end upward a little bit. And here you're gonna see another cable. This is the power jack. You just wanna pull this jack toward the screen. Just hold a little bit and just pull it out once you pull it out lift up a little more and then just pull it outwards you have to let go of this audio jack that goes a little more inward just lift it up now there's your bottom chassis and there's your ram and there's your other ram dim they could have made life really easy just by cutting it right through here they actually have a vent right here to make an opening for the any other laptop so what are you gonna do here we want to grab another RAM just like this and we're gonna place it right over here in 45 degree angle just like that and then push it towards the motherboard always make sure when you want to remove the RAM pull these two triggers apart the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle and then you pull it out in the same 45 degree angle Sometimes you need a little bit of more force, but sometimes it comes easy. Again, it goes down in, make sure the notch matches right there. And hold it from back and just squish it really hard. Make sure in 45 degree angle. I'm not doing it in 90, so. And once you have it all the way in, you just want to push it towards the triggers, towards the motherboard. Once you hit those triggers right there, and that means the RAM is in place. Same thing. On the other side, pull it out. This one comes out pretty easy. 45 degree angle, goes in. You see this one is really soft, and this one it took a little bit of more pressure to go in. So you might have a different situation, just bear with me. Once you have the new RAM in there, what you want to do, you want to connect the power supply into the jack back there. So keep it in this position. And Go ahead and plug in the power supply, I mean, the power jack cable right there. Push it all the way in. Now you can go ahead and flip it over. What you want to do, you remove this Wi Fi cable, put it over. Now lift it up a little bit. Make sure the audio jack has to go through the, its hole. Pull the cable for the audio, for the speakers. Remove the cables underneath for the battery. Make sure it's not in the way and move it around make sure it just snuggled sitting nice on the on the board on the bottom chassis once you're in this position grab the fan put the ram in place first thing first always close plug in the fan and next grab the connector for the screen evenly push it in grab it from the side don't press in here press on the sides and just squeeze make sure it goes all the way in All right, next you plug in the speaker cable. Grab the white cable for the antenna, place it right on top of the connector and then press it over. It's just going to snap in. There. Now you can either use a, leave it just like this or just grab a tape. Any masking tape will do. Just put it on top and just tape it out uh, cut this part so it doesn't cover the thing you can use a cap cap on tape or anything but this one sticks pretty fine and they actually in some models they still use this tape you can next before we put the hard drive in or do anything we want to run a test to make sure the ram is working so you don't do the whole process 
and it's pretty simple just grab the bottom the top cover because the power on button is on the keyboard so what you want to do you want to grab it in an angle you don't need to connect the battery you just want to keep grab it in an angle right there and plug pull in the ribbon cable right into the jack from the back hold it there and then pull these two triggers towards the connector and it stays in place you don't even need to connect the, anything else so i'm bringing this one all the way out a little bit now what we're going to do we're going to connect the power supply and we're going to power it on make sure the ram works if the ram doesn't work then you might have to switch the ram i turn it on and i got boot screen so once you got the boot screen some text you can go ahead and just turn it off and that's the one of the big things some people um, put the ram in you might have to remove the ram switch the places in order to get uh, for the bias to detect it sometimes it detects it right away sometimes it takes you have to switch the places all right now that we got the ram in and it's working fine you want to grab the hard drive. You want to place the hard drive in an offset position. Just like that, with a little gap right there. And now we're going to slide it towards the connector. Just like that. Grab the speaker, align it over the contact contacts right there, and place it in. We're going to put the three screws for the fan, and one screw for the motherboard, and one for the hard drive. There we go. Now the last step down here is to grab the connector for the battery evenly, push it towards the motherboard. Make sure all the cables are just in nice, it's not disturbing, so you don't want to pinch those. Then you put the top cover. All right, everything is in place. Now one of the next step will be to grab the top cover, the keyboard, the palm rest, and again we're gonna do the same thing over we're gonna grab the flex cable and we're gonna slide it from the back end towards the jack and then we're gonna hold it and we're gonna close the locks so it keeps the flex cable in place in here is that we're just gonna slide it in okay and with one hand i'm holding and with the second finger i'm just gonna close the lid now the easy step is just grab the sides and we're just gonna pinch them just like that grab the uh, back end to just pinch the back to hold it from here and pinch it all right now we're going to close it and we're going to flip it over we're going to put the caddy for the dvd rom and the last step is to put back in the screws i really hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out if it did i appreciate if you guys click that thumbs up button and if you guys have any requests you know where to leave them and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish putting all the screws.